Hi guys, guess what? It's Friday. That means we're going off for a couple of days for the weekend. Uh, so why don't you come and join me? And I'll show you where we're going when we get there. It's somewhere new for us. So I'll see you when we get there. on a hard standing oh, that's good. because uh, he said it's a bit boggy out there someone got stuck this morning oh. we're the only ones here there's about four other camper vans here five camper vans here he said he was going to go fishing <laughs> hey, look that's it look where's the toilet there okay, there's a code that's the code but we've got a long way to go up to get on our hard standing it's here guys I'm just going to give you a little tour of the campsite now uh, as you can see we've arrived at um, Poston Hill it's a Forester of England camping uh, we're in Wiltshire Milford. so let's go and have a little walk around the campsite So as you just come through the uh, the gate there, you'll be coming up to reception. Uh, the people here are very friendly. They've got some little sculptures around the place. You can see on this this tree over here, they've got a what looks like a half-eaten apple. So yeah, when you first come in, what you need to do is make your way to the reception area here and get yourself booked in. Yeah, look at these lovely little sculptures they got around the place. Look, in here. So let's just go for a little walk around. So 
So as you come in, it's a one-way system. Yeah, and all dogs must be kept on the leads. So when you first come in, you can come round, you have your drinking water where you can fill up. Right here. You have your uh, Elson and your grey water here. Yeah. Uh, so then you can come around. Uh, there is no showers here. Uh, there is toilets and a uh, wash up facility, but no showers. Uh, and it's all grass pitches, which is a little bit uh, moist at the moment because we are in February. So there we are, guys, just set up there. We've got the only hard standing, I think. But yeah, just walk around, show you the site. Um, it's quite a small site. Um, it literally just goes round in one little loop. So we'll just go round now. I'll do the whole. So I'll walk around the whole site so we can have a look. I think it's accommodation for something like 170 vans or something that you can have here. Uh, do have electrical hookup. So it's quite spacious uh, as well. I think they're seasonal pictures that we've got here. Uh, there's a little group of people over there that are doing their little forestry walk. Yeah, as you can see guys, there's not too many people here at the moment. Um, I think it's a bit wet. Um, personally, I think this shouldn't be open uh, in winter because the ground is very, very soft. Uh, and there has been quite a few people stuck in here already that have just left, as, as the people on reception told us. That's why they stuck us on a, a hard standing for now because uh, it is quite wet and they've been getting quite a few people stuck. Um, there is a footpath, at least from the campsite, that goes through to Melborough. Um, it's a nice walk through, it's about a mile and a half away, but the walk back will be quite hard because it's all uphill. Um, if we get time, we'll go ahead and do that walk because I wouldn't mind walking into Melbourne myself just to go and have a look. Yeah, so let's just go over this way a minute and I'll show you the toilet block and the wash up area. So this is the toilet block guys, here, uh, it's a mixed toilet, um, I think, no they do have, there's the male and female toilets here, um, they have a, a code on, to be, on the doors to be used, the toilets are very dated, um, the toilets look like they're something out of the 70s, uh, could do with a bit of modernisation, so let's just uh, have a look at your notice board here which is just outside the toilets and it says no fires uh, I've got a few activities going on here it's all, all forest craft and things like that which is foraging is today yeah that explains what that group of people is that we just saw uh, there's a foraging going on today yeah so Let's just keep over I'll show you the uh, the wash up zone.
So just around here guys is where you can come and uh, wash up all your dishes. Uh, again, it's uh, very, very basic. Um, it's just sink and taps really. Very, very basic. Um, like I said before, they do have lots of little sculptures around the place. Um, we we'll have a look over here. Ooh. They've got like a little bug hotel, which looks pretty good. Um, yeah, there's another bug hotel over there. They've got a little um, little pond here, which really does look like it needs uh, sorting out. A little plastic crocodile over there. The pond looks a bit worse for wear. Um, let's have a look, see what else we got. So this shed here, I'm not quite sure what this one is. So I'm just going to have a look. I think it might be disabled toilets because it's got a bit of a ramp. Uh, no, that's a private shed. So let's head back over to the pavement. Uh, it's very slippery here, guys, at the moment. Um, the other thing we have noticed is there's a lot of mole hills here as well. So be careful where you're putting up your tents and things like that because there is quite a few mole hills. So obviously the ground's going to be very soft under that. Yeah. So guys, I've nearly fell over a couple of times just walking along here where it's so wet and it's really, really soft. So if you are coming here in winter, just make sure you've got decent tyres on your vehicles, you know, on your camper vans or motorhomes or something, because you will not get out. It is really soft and soggy. Yeah, so there's the woods that you can go for for some walks. There's a gate just up here that you can go through. So here's the sign here, it says to a uh, footpath to forest and dog walking, yeah, uh, but dogs have to be kept on leads, yeah, so that's just through this gate here, yeah, and again it is very very muddy in there, and the one thing I do like about this campsite is they've actually put up bins for your dogs, which is a good thing the last site we went to there was no bins anywhere for the dog mess so we just carry on walking around as you can see by this road here it's really really bad this is a concrete road but it don't look like they really look after it that well um, there's leaves and mud everywhere as you can see and it's very very slippery it could really do with a good clean Oh, let's go and have a look over here. It looks like the daffodils were coming out. We are nearly in March. There we go, look. There's the daffodils, they're all coming out nicely. By the time I put this vlog out, it probably will be March. So we are pretty much I'd say middle to getting close to the end of February now. So there's another drinking water point here. Yeah, there's some car parks out there so you can go on the forestry walks. I'll have to have a look on the um, park for night and see if you can actually park in there for the night. So there you go guys, look this is where one of the car vehicles got stuck. All he'd done was touch the grass a little bit and he was wheel spinning away trying to get out. Um, this is another area where they've been stuck as well. Yeah, so please just remember this is all grass pitches here. Yeah, we saw this camper van here yesterday and I don't think anyone's actually staying in it because it looked empty yesterday. I think this just might be stored, stored here for the night, for the winter. There's not many electrical hookups over on this side, guys. I think it's um, mostly for tents. Um, 
We've got the one motorhome sitting there all on its own, like I said. I think that's just parked there for winter because there doesn't seem to be anyone in it. So let's just carry on around. So like I say, this site is a little bit run down. It could really do with a, a good clean up. You've got broken trees, branches everywhere. Um, I know it's a woodland, but it could be looked after a bit better than what it is. Yeah, as you can tell by the road that we're walking down, it is absolutely covered in leaves and twigs and everything. It's not maintained. Uh, and bearing in mind, this is a concrete road. Uh, it looks like another half standing here. But there's really uneven, guys. You really need your blocks as well for leveling out in here. Because it's pretty uneven. Yep, so there's a reception area again guys. So as you can tell by the way we've just walked around it is a very small site. And here's where we put all your waste. Yep, so let's make our way back to the camper van now. As you can tell this is just a very very small site. And um, like I said I think it's just 170 spaces. But it can do with a bit more um, looking after in my opinion. So they do allow all these vehicles to park in here. There's some sort of a club meet going on today where they've got lots of visitors just coming when they're going off into the woods. Um, here's another one of their uh, so-called hard standing guys, but it's not very hard, it's really uneven. And you can see from here where someone else got stuck in there. Um, apparently it took them quite a while to get out as well. So my personal thoughts, guys, this site should not be open in winter. It should be a summer only site. So, okay, so we're back at the van now, guys. So I'll catch you up in a bit. So it's now time to go for a little walk around Savanac Forest. <laughs>
Right, we're coming up to the end of that walk now. Uh, coming back up towards the campsite now. Uh, it's getting a bit dark for the recording now, so I might just leave it there. And tomorrow we're going to take a little walk down into Marlborough Town. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Right, morning everyone. What we're going to do today is we're just going to take a little walk down to Marlborough Town. So let's go and do that little walk. So once we've done this little walk, we'll then be heading off home. So let's just go for this walk down to the town and see how far it is. Well, this hill looks really steep, guys. Uh, hopefully, it zigzags because <laughs> otherwise, there's going to be a bit of a trek getting back up. Yeah, it's a little bit treacherous this walk going down to the town, it's a bit slippery, so be careful when coming down here. It's very slippery, guys, and very muddy. So, if you were to do this walk, I'd be very careful. It's quite a steep, a steep hill as well. Yeah, if you've got kids with you or anything, I wouldn't recommend coming this way. Or if you've got uh, push chairs or anything like that, you're not going to get down here. And wear suitable shoes as well, because it's very slippery. It's nice views from here, guys, but the walk is a bit dodgy. You can see, if you look at the ground here, you can see this is what it's like all the way. And it's very steep. Yeah, this ain't exactly uh, a good idea coming this way. But we've got to give it a go. Yeah, so guys, I went to the, uh, the toilets this morning on the site uh, to have a little bit of a wash up uh, from packing up the van. So I got really muddy from uh, it had been real heavy rain all night, so I got a really bit, quite a bit muddy while packing away. So I went to the toilets to uh, wash up, and uh, the toilets are really bad, guys. Uh, no hot water, it's just freezing cold. Uh, there's mold all around the sinks, um, it's really bad. And Marie was telling me that the ladies' toilets is just as bad as well. Um, I checked the water at the washing up area as well and that was freezing cold as well. So all in all, this site is, unless you're desperate, I would avoid it. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, this bit is a bit dodgy. This bit's a bit dodgy. This bit's really steep and a bit dodgy. Uh, yeah. I think they'll go down their leaves in it because the road's just there. But this bit's a bit. Well, we're keeping close to us because there's a little house there. Whoa! Be careful. Here!
So it looks like we've made it to the bottom of the hill, guys. So, almost. What? So again, guys, this looks dodgy. Just, uh, sure about it. He's just off the, uh, he's just off the steering wheel, off his, uh, uh, we can walk along here. Let's walk along here. This guy's just lost the steering wheel off his tractor. That's it. I actually know where to cross. After this car. Alright, come on. Come on. Well, it's not very good that there's nowhere uh, to cross. So you come off of that wall and there's nowhere actually to cross. So what I'll do guys is I'll catch up with you when we get to the town. Alright guys, we've made it to Marlborough Town. Um, that was a very, very dodgy walk. Uh, the main road is extremely dangerous, extremely busy. Uh, the paths, you can probably only fit one person on. They're very, very narrow. Not impressed so far. So guys, I guess I'll say this was the town centre. You got all parking in the middle of the road. Got a mixture of old and new buildings. Oh guys, look at that old bank over there, look. That's a very old bank there, built 1677. That's a very old bank. <laughs> Just that old baker's over there, looks like the roof's about to fall down, look. <laughs> it's very old. A couple of really old shops over there. So we've got a little side alley here with some shops. Let's have a look down here. Houses are a bit pricey. Millions. Not the millions. No, look at the size of them. Oh, what this whole building is up in front it looks like a town hall. So we'll just go up here, guys, and have a look around the corner, see what there is. So we've got an Indian restaurant here that's already open. So Sunday lunch, £11.95 each. That's not too bad. Huh? Yeah. So that was the town centre, so we're now going to make our way back to the campsite. So we're now going up that very steep hill back to the campsite. So let me go ahead and show you how steep this hill is and how dodgy it is. It's very slippery. Oh, that'll do. 
Just so you can see how steep this is, guys. And we're about halfway up. Oh, I'm really out of breath now, guys. It's really steep. I think Marie's struggling a bit. Back at the campsite now, so I'd just like to say thanks for watching um, from me, Marie, Ollie, and Reggie. And uh, we'll see you on the next one as we got to head back home ready for work tomorrow on Monday. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>